What is up guys, this is Karan here and welcome back again to Tech Karan YouTube channel talking about Android 11 based custom rooms. This one is Dubfest Android 11 official custom room which is available for a lot of devices right now. For some devices it's a stable build, for some devices it's in alpha stage like in my case I'm using Redmi Note 8 in which this official build is in alpha stage so yes you might get some bugs, some a little bit of less features and something like that but you can install this also if you want to because I'm using it from some time didn't got any major bugs till now this is called Dubfest Android version 11 with the November security patch which is kind of a latest one so you can install this the link for this file is in the description you can go and install this for any of the supported devices also uh, if your device is not supported yes GSA option is always there let's find out which other things you get here Guys, I'm using the Google Apps build here for so some devices. It has a vanilla build option available here too, which means no Google Apps. But for some devices, it has the G Apps build. In my case, in Redmi Note 8, it has a G Apps build. So you can see almost every Google app is pre-installed, which means all those apps. And also the best part is Pixel Launcher is pre-installed, which is one of the great things out there. As if we already know that we have the option of select all and the screenshot option. If you see the select all option, that will work definitely fine here which is quite amazing and if you go for some other things we have the option to see widgets wallpapers and if you go for the wallpapers you can choose the styles and wallpapers option from here where does it come alive living universe and some cool kind of things which is a new UI in Android version 11 you can use the live wallpapers for some devices it's working fine for some devices it's not working fine if I apply the live wallpaper from here my device will hang a lot it will lag a lot so in my redmi note 8 and if you're a redmi note 8 user i'll recommend you not to use these live wallpapers at all if you go for other things like quick settings panel almost same kind of things and this is not the default kind of thing you can choose the styles and wallpapers option from the settings and you can modify a lot of things here like the fonts the icons the colors a lot of things like that if you go this like this edit icon from here we have the location hotspot some new things including screen record and AOD option of course you should not use at all if your device has LCD display if you go here we have the option of choosing the maximum rows and columns and quick bar columns etc if you choose the maximum rows to 2 now you'll see the same kind of UI you will get here let me show you by going here so this is not changed I am trying first time here by clicking here you can see I've tried the maximum rows 2 here and let me try by changing the maximum column to 4 so again it's not working at all I have not tried it so maybe it will work for you maybe it will not work for you I'm trying first time and you can see it might be the bug but just don't comment like that I don't know or something like that because I'm trying first time you can see maximum rows 3 once again yes it's same like that and if you go for the maximum rows now like let me show you by going to maximum rows 2 now and yes it's not working it's a bug it's not working at all maybe from settings I can change and you can see I'm using the magisk manager option available here too magisk android 11 the modded magisk what I am using right now let me try it by checking out my device the place play protect is certified or not and the best part is device is certified yes you can use the banking apps if you want to which is one of the main highlights of this build that the device is certified so if you're looking for android 11 based room in which your device will be certified you have the option of choosing the Dubfest room out there network and internet connected devices apps and notifications battery display a lot more things from the android 11 in which one of the main features include the notification history which you can enable by going here and check out your notification history which is a by default feature available in android version 11 and if you are if you are eagerly waiting for android 11 build on your device go and install this build because a lot of features are there pixel launcher is pre-installed yes you might face little bit of bugs if you're using redmi no note 8 but those are not major bugs so you can survive without them going for the battery display if you go for the display section go to styles and wallpapers like in my case i have already applied the custom styles from here you can also create a custom styles with a lot of fonts options available which is also great we have the option of choosing the icons and a lot more things like that screen timeout and some little bit of features here and there which you can adjust 
sound storage privacy location has the same kind of thing security has the option of choosing the face lock and also have the pin scrambling option available if you're choosing a pin lock this might be a very helpful feature for you you can scramble your pin so that will be difficult for someone to judge if you are using somewhere else google system about phone everything is same here talking about some customizations it includes a little bit of customizations like the status bar related customization items voltage wi-fi etc going for the quick settings some little bit of features like brightness slider footer text and nothing else is here going for the notifications vibrate on connect call waiting and disconnect power menu has some little bit of features screenshot and screen record and at last lock screen only has a charging info and this one is called smart space display conditional info such as weather and events on the lock screen so you can choose and also you can choose a lock screen clock to default semi bold default bold or whatever else and at last some gesture options like the swipe to screenshot double tap and screen of power button touch some little bit of features available the link for this build is in the description you can go and install this thing if you want to this is all from today's video i hope you like it if you like it don't forget to drop a like and comment in the description comment here comment below thanks for watching goodbye